All right, guys, welcome to another interior real estate photography tutorial. Today, we're going to be looking at um, Photoshop's new AI software and how incredible it is, how it could save you a ton of time. Even on site, it can save you time. And I'm going to show you that right now. So, this was a lower end house, and we needed to be, move quickly. And normally, I would have just grabbed all these bags and this tote and just slid them out. But then I got to thinking, you know what? What if we just take a chance? Later on, I know this was a big chance because I haven't really been using the Photoshop AI software a whole lot, so I wasn't really, you know, I wasn't aware of its capabilities and too familiar with what it can and cannot do. But I took a, I took a gamble and I was pretty shocked. So I decided to leave all this stuff right here and then decided to see if I could delete it in Photoshop. I mean, that's tough. We're in a corner. The Photoshop's going to have to rebuild this wall and everything. Now, I'm not connected to Wi-Fi, so I'm not going to show you actually the process. I'm just going to show you the finished result, and you let me know what you think. So all I did in Photoshop was, well, actually, you know what? Let me just take it into Photoshop and see if we can actually do this. Because I'm not connected to Wi-Fi, that is one thing you're going to have to make sure you are Connected to Wi-Fi, so if you're out on the road and you want to use this feature, you're not going to be able to unless you are using, you know, um, you know, a hotspot from your phone or your car, or whatever. So I'm just going to show you. So it doesn't matter which selection tool you use. You're all now. You're going to get a a bar down here at the bottom, and you can just circle what you need to delete. And you can actually tell it in here. See now it says fully connected in, uh, internet use to generate fill, whatever. That's fine. So normally this would um, not be grayed out. You would click this. You could hit just generate fill without giving it any prompts. Or you can tell it delete items uh, by wall. Or delete car. Or uh, remove stuff off table. Whatever you want it to do. It might help it. I haven't done a comparison yet. Maybe we'll do that in another video. But check out this guys. So this is the final result. I mean, I mean, yeah, at closer inspection, you can tell that it's a little fun, uh, wonky back here. But honestly, for this type of house, maybe the shadow was a little distracting or something, and you could have um, fixed that a little bit. But if you look, um, yeah, would we normally have dark shadows there? Maybe, maybe not. But again, you have the table right here with the light and stuff. So I don't know. That's pretty good to me. So let's check out another another scenario all right so check out this example so I was shooting a cottage and I needed to clean off all this stuff uh, the person that was uh, staging it had a bunch of their staging props and laptop and all this stuff on this picnic table and so I moved it over to this picnic table and then I got back to my camera I'm like oh shoot I should have moved it off of that picnic table too because you can still see it through the windows but again I took that chance let's see if Photoshop can delete the stuff off the table and that's what I did I zoomed in just like I am now took my selection tool circled this stuff and then typed in delete items off table and this is what it did I mean wow it rebuilt the table. So in your bag, you could you would never know. You would never know. So I think that's pretty amazing. Okay, here's another example that could save you a lot of time, definitely on site, instead of having everybody move their cars, which, again, if you can have everybody move their cars and get them out of the shot, yeah, do that. You're always going to be safe. But used to be where if they were up against a building, it was super hard. You had to go in there and do, like, a clone stamp tool and try to rebuild garage doors or the front of the houses or whatever. Check this out. So all I did was I did individual cars. So I circled these two, and I, I, I think I typed in delete cars. And then I circled this truck. I, I mean, simple things like this. You're not going to have to tell AI what to do. It'll know to get rid of the car. And same with this white car. Very simple. Even with the clone stamp tool, you could just click and drag it. And you'd be able to match it up. But way faster, way more accurate. I'm going to show you the final result. Check this out. Boom. I mean, that took a matter of maybe two, three minutes. Because it does take a long time. A little bit more time for the AI to generate each one, but it's, I mean, depending on how fast your processor is and your computer is going to be a lot faster, but again, guys, this stuff's going to save you a lot of time. My methods are always to try to teach you how to be fast, both on-site and in the editing room, but still producing amazing results, and that's our ultimate goal, guys. So, again, I appreciate you uh, watching. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. I'm releasing tutorials all the time. Bye-bye.